Charlie. Hi. He said it's Monday. It's Memorial Day. And we're starting up another vlog. Mr. Charlie was sick yesterday. He's all better now. Are you all better? You're all better. Mommy had to go down and get orders. Papa's doing the laundry. Lucy went downstairs and you're up here by yourself because you're afraid of the stairs. Are you afraid? Yeah, it's all right. Charlie, look at me. Look, say hello. Hello. Charlie, do the puggy head tilt. Everyone loves it. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> you're that cute little boy. I'm so glad you're better. So I have four eBay orders um, to start the day. And of course, being a holiday weekend, it's going to be slow. Um, two more 99 cent auction tops. This is a Miss Me and a Ralph Lauren women's. Um, they both went for 99 cents, but the buyers paid shipping. I took a best offer of 25 on this uh, vintage Ginny doll, the African American. Have a lot of interest in her, um, you know, watchers. I think I took it, I rejected another offer in the past, but I finally took 25. I paid a dollar for her. Um, and then another dollar doll that I've got, a Barbie. This is a vintage Dream Glow. Again, I've had her for quite a while. Well, a while for me. Um, I finally took an offer of 15. Uh, the buyers on the dolls paid the shipping, so they're kind of bulky. I mean, I like picking up dolls. I just think they're cute. I just look for if they're really good condition. If there's a mark, a clear mark on the back, you know, not made in China, looking for true vintage dolls. And um, I, the only thing it's difficult is storing them. I mean, it's not difficult, but, you know, they take up a, quite a bit of room and they're a little awkward. Um, but I just ordered some new tubs on Amazon. So be excited for those to come. I have some ideas of kind of trying to store things down there so they obviously are protected and that I can get more on my shelves. So we shall see what today brings. If anybody's home on Memorial Day shopping online, probably not. But um, another day where I am not doing a four-hour workday, I'm taking my holiday day off. Of course, I will do some work, but I will work distracted. So I've been talking about my four-hour workday. That only counts if I work completely undistracted. No videos, no YouTube, no TV, no Instagram, nothing. Um, no distractions whatsoever. I put in four hours a day. Sometimes it's broken up into several chunks, sometimes into a couple. Uh, but then Saturday, um, and well, yesterday and Sunday. Wait, yesterday was Sunday. This weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Oh my gosh. I did work, but I did distract it. And the same thing I'll do today. So it's still a vacation day for me. The system is working out really well. I'm getting rest. I'm not getting burned out on everything. Makes me excited to actually get work done when I have that time during the week. So I have this stuff photographed. That stuff on the bottom photographed. I need to get this Thomas Kincaid wreath photographed. Um, but yeah, I'll kind of piddle around on this stuff today and um, get as much as I can up that I feel like doing. So it is now Monday night. <laughs> um, I actually did get quite a bit of work done today. Instead of listing stuff, I took photos and I just took as many photos as I could while I was listening to YouTube videos and whatnot. Um, and so now I have all of those drafts already up on eBay. So this coming week, everything's ready for me to just sit down on the computer and work. I'm not having to clean, I'm not having to photograph any of that stuff. It's literally sit down, do a quick search to see what my pricing should be and get it listed. Um, have Lucy has an appointment tomorrow at the vet. I have a haircut on Wednesday. I've already got a list of errands started that I'm going to need to run. So, you know, just life stuff. Um, but anyway, one more whopping sale for the night. This New York and Company shirt, which I don't pick up New York and Company anymore. And I've had this for a while. It's It was on its third round, I think, of auction. It finally sold for 99 cents with the buyer paint shipping. I know I've said this before, but when I was in my 20s, I bought almost all of my work clothes at New York and Company and Express. So it's kind of funny. Um, Express does well for me, but poor New York and Company doesn't. But I remember when they closed the New York and Company. Remember New York and Company used to be called Learner? Do you remember when it's called Learner? So they closed Learner. And then they brought it back as New York and Company. Then it closed in my area. So I had to go to Cedar Rapids 
um, to shop their store. And then that one closed. And then I know there's one now in Des Moines at Jordan Creek. But I think by the time that opened, I was already working for myself. So I didn't need nice clothes anymore. I spent so much money of my, uh, so much of my paycheck on clothing when I was working for someone else. <laughs> and now it's funny. I work for myself and, you know, doesn't interest me in the least. But anyway, go get this wrapped up and um, ready to ship out tomorrow. Okay, it's now Tuesday morning. This whole week's going to be off because of the holiday, but that's okay. We'll get to the weekend again faster. Um, one sale overnight on eBay sold these three uh, Dell ink cartridges for $89.99. I did have free shipping on them. The buyer messages me and is like, don't put an invoice in. Ship ASAP. S send in original package or return will happen or something. I'm like, oh, Lord. Anyway, so that's a nice sale. I'd be happy. Well, I wouldn't be happy if this was all that sold, but if this was all that sold, the way things are going lately, I guess I'd take it. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie, look at me. Charlie, are you looking at Lucy? You looking at Lucy? Charlie. Hey, Charlie, look at me. Hi. <laughs> looking at Lucy, looking at... They're all staring at you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the guilty guy. You're the guilty <laughs> That's why they're staring. Because you're guilty. They're guilty. We're going to wait a while, okay? we got to wait a while, guys. Another hour. At least half hour. Always want to eat. I put in just about all of my four-hour workday today. It was really chopped up just because I had a lot of other things going on. And, you know, Papa needed me and just stuff around the house. So, um, yeah, I kind of lost track. But another thing that's kind of slowing me down is, with listing on eBay is I'm having to research a lot of stuff. And I'm finding stuff that I can't figure out exactly what it is. So, I'm picking stuff up and I'm trying, if I can't find it, put it aside, move on to the next thing. But I did spend more time than I probably should have today trying to find some things. Um, so anyway, that's just how it is. Um, so sales to end the day. This little express cardigan, I accepted a best offer of 13. Has free shipping. Um, this loft, and Taylor loft tank, it went for 99 cent auction on eBay. Buyer paid shipping and then someone one, two Marisa's tops, 99 cents each. They paid shipping. Um, I know I've said this before, but I'm not going to be doing, I don't think I'm going to be doing auctions at all um, now with summer here because people just aren't home to bid on auctions. So I'm going to be sticking to fixed price. I think I still have maybe 10 or so auctions going. So once those end, I will just go back to listing fixed price and hoping I can move stuff. I would really like to sell, well, obviously I'd like to sell everything, but for sure everything on these racks, those three, and down there, because this is all stuff that's only on eBay, um, whereas this stuff is on eBay and Poshmark, and I eventually want to get to the point where everything is cross-posted, um, so... Of course, now with eBay changing the rule and they're going to have only the 14-day sale. So this is my dilemma. Do I just put everything good till canceled? Because then you can run a sale anytime. I do my hard goods good till canceled. But clothing, I used to like to do 10 days because I felt like it created more urgency. Um, but then I would run a sale. So I guess I could go back to 10 days, but nothing's ever going to be on sale because it won't meet the 14-day requirement. List it 30 days and then halfway through it can go on sale. Or list it good till cancel and then it can go on sale anytime. But I really don't like to do that because I feel like clothes then just get buried. And clothing is the thing that I want to move faster. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing. If, you run, if you're typically someone who runs sales what you're planning to do. Like I said, with hard goods and vintage, that stuff is good till canceled. I was trying to do it 30 days, but then so much stuff was ending. I was relisting. I'm like, you know what? This stuff is long tail. I have to wait for the right buyer to come along for a lot of my hard goods. So leaving it good till canceled. Now eBay's talking about product pages and ranking and search and blah, 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 blah. 
I feel like that's okay for vintage, but not for clothes, modern clothes, especially the brands I carry. It needs to be, I feel, a more sense of urgency. So anyway, I sold this top earlier, then the buyer messaged me, oh, cancel wrong size. I also have someone who bought a tank top. They wanted it auction for 99 cents, and then they messaged me how they think it's a fake made in China. And I'm like, hmm, well, if you look at the pictures, a picture of the tag, it says made in China and it's I don't, some brand. It's not even a good brand. It's like, what are you thinking? I just got it because it was a graphic tee. Oh, she's got this big, long novel she's writing me. And I said, I described it. I showed pictures, including the tag. So we can let eBay decide on um, June 1st, which is when they would get involved. Because that's the other thing. Now eBay's not getting involved in um, customer issues until it would go to like a four day and they need to get involved. So I don't know, eBay, it's a change in, but how can you do? So anyway, with that guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. If you aren't already hit the little bell next to the subscribe button, because then you will magically know that I have a video, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.